All right, we've got to get to this breaking right now. Take a look at this Sky 4 with Action Cam live right now over the scene. This is a house explosion in North Braddock. Just take a look at the damage there. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Shannon Perrine live at this scene. Shannon, were there people inside when this happened? There were, Jackie, absolutely. And we understand that those people did make it out okay. You just have to see our view here live at ground level. Take a look at this house here on Rebecca Avenue in North Braddock. When you do see it, you can imagine just how strong that blast was. The entire front wall of the home is peeled off. The poor troop is on the ground in ruins. The codes enforcement officer here for North Braddock happened to be right around the corner, right around the block at the time of the explosion. He heard that boom, he came running. He wasn't the only one who heard it. Neighbors here tell me they felt their own homes shake just before the blast. We're told no one was seriously hurt in all of this. The three people who live in the home were somehow able just to walk out the back door. The codes enforcement officer tells me the house recently had a new gas meter installed. People's natural gas workers are here. So is the Allegheny County Fire Marshal. It is way too early to tell what caused this, but they will all be looking into how, what caused the explosion that could have easily been a much bigger tragedy. Well, I thought it was either really loud fireworks, seeing you know, we're close to the 4th of July, but uh, coming around the corner and seeing this and hearing movement inside it, I've been doing this for 35 years. It was a little scary. One thing that's clear is that this was not a case of fireworks. Something made this house explode here on Rebecca Avenue in North Braddock, and many people will be investigating to see exactly what caused it. Again, no serious injuries reported after this house explosion. Reporting live in North Braddock, I'm Shannon Perrine, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.